What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we are going to be getting into some mess concerning the cast of Baddies Caribbean. Yes, girl, we got a few topics to get into. Some reunion things, the girls wanting to jump, and Meatball Girl. Oh, we're going to oh, get into you, girl. Okay, we're going to get into you. Because as time goes by, more and more and more, I just, I just don't know about you, Meatball. But we're going to get into you. We're going to get into all the girls. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell. So you know every single time I post a new video, it's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob Girl. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. Like, come on. So in the recent very boring, very much draggy episode of Baddies Caribbean, J.O. went home. So J.O. was one of the replacements, you know what I'm saying, one of the replacements that was stuck up in the hotel room, girl. We barely got to see her, girl, and she went home. Now, in the episode, J.O. gave us a reason as to why she was going home, and that was because she got a call from her brother and had to handle some family business. Therefore, she could not complete her Baddies experience. But I'm not going to lie. And I said this in my review. I was just like that. It just didn't make any sense. And Lord behold, girl, she done got on social media and told us the real reason as to why she had to go home. And girl, the reason that she gave us on the show was complete BS like I thought it was. Because like I said, it just made no sense. I said in my review, I was kind of off as to why I thought she really went home. But I wasn't off when I said it did, that it just made no sense. It made no sense and it seemed fishy. It seemed very much sudden. Let's just get into why J.O. is claiming she went home. That was not the reason I left. That was edited. My brother is doing 40 years right now. Hashtag free him. So why would I have to go home because of him? The tea is noodles. Not meatball, but noodles. <laughs> Told production if I came to the house, she was going to c*** me. Yeah. Okay. The scene they showed with her with the scissors is the second time she said it. She was crying the first time in the house when we were supposed to come in the day before. And she was saying the same ish. So they claimed it was a safety hazard. I told them I don't care about no hoe saying she gonna cut me. She ain't gonna succeed. But they said they couldn't put me in harm's way. All right, so then she said her ass should have went home, but of course she got all the followers, so they played with me and I decided to leave because that was BS. I got to sit out of scenes and I worked hard to audition and after the audition to be there and to let a bad boy say he gonna cut me because of a scuffle is crazy. She was bullying everybody else, plus talking about what she was gonna do to me when I came in like I ain't already get word. Yeah, what's up? That scary behavior is not baddie behavior. This episode really just pissed me off. She's a fake hard bitch, and I wasn't even on her ass anymore, on me. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive into this. So this honestly makes so much more sense because when I tell y'all, when I was watching and J.O. gave us that reason as to why she was being sent home, I did not believe it for a second. I did it. And then whole time she said that and her brother is doing 40 years in a pen. He ain't getting out no time soon. Child, no offense. Girl, boo. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Meatball. Okay, I believe it because like I said, Meatball was on the bus already doing a lot. She was already doing a lot. And this is how I know that Zeus does not care about their talent. They do not care about their cast members. They do not care about the people who work for them. They just don't care. You know what I'm saying? You can tell because on BGC, okay, no shit. And I, and I hate to keep comparing BGC to this, but I mean, I, I just got to because it's, they're the blueprint. Okay. They're the blueprint who did it correctly on BGC. Oh, you obey oh, me. Oh, you threaten somebody like that? Girl, boo, you going home. You going home and it is what it is. But because Meatball has so many followers, because she has fans, because she had an established fan base, 
and following and clout before coming on to the show, they're not going to send her home. They're going to send home J.O. Why would you send home the person who's getting threatened and not the person who's doing the threatening? It just don't make no sense. Make it make sense. But like I said, all they care about is clout. All they care about is who's on the show that can promote their brand and their show and their network. They don't care about anything else. Meatball should have got sent home the first time she came out the side of her big sloppy back ass mouth and said that about J.O. No shade. Girl, you and J.O. fought one time. Y'all fought one time. She walked you down. So what? So what? So what? You walked Gretch down. Did Gretch do all that? No. No shade. I hate to bring her up, but I mean, come on. You and J.O. didn't even, y'all Y'all had that one altercation on the beach. You got tore up. You She tore you out the frame and that's it. What are you so mad for? Like, what did she do to you for you to literally sit there and be like, oh, I'm going to do this to her. I'm going to do that to her. And honestly, I feel like you were only doing that because you're scary and you didn't want to be around her like that. Because I also heard that you told production, basically tried to give them an ultimatum and basically told them that it's either me or her. Yeah, I heard that too through the grapevine. You know what I'm saying? So it's just crazy to me, girl. It's crazy because I would have never thought that Meatball would be that type to be so damn scary. You look scary like no shade like you really look scary like you literally did that as a cop out because of what? And then like J.O. said, I wasn't even on her like that. It looks like y'all honestly were barely around each other. For God's sakes, they were stuck in a hotel room half the time. But the thought of them coming to zip lining, the thought of them coming to move into the house literally irritates you so much to where you have to start doing the most. Honestly, I feel like, I don't even feel like Meepo was going to do it for real. I feel like she was just doing that so J.O. could go home. So production could know like, oh, it's not safe. Like, okay, come on now. Meatball knew that production was going to choose her over J.O. Let's be for real. I'm telling you, like, uh, she plays so tough. Like, you're, you play so tough and you, and you play that role very much well. But I feel like, and I'm telling you, on a bus, when Meatball was doing all that right, and, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, and I don't like them, I don't want them in the house, da 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 when I was seeing that, it didn't give me, oh, she crazy for real. Like, oh, she bout that. Oh, she crazy. It gave me, you're a coward. You're scary. And you're intimidated. For what, though? For what? Because she walked you down one time. <laughs> girl, she, girl got whooped one time and don't know how to act. Meatloaf is scary. That's all that it is, girl. You really did put on a facade like you was really, yeah, like all that... And you're doing the most over what? Over over a hoe that got into one scuffle with you? Girl, bye. So Nunu, one of the new girls that are unfortunately another new girl who is unfortunately stuck in the hotel room that we really don't see much of. She recently went live and pretty much said that Automac and Biggie are going to have to run her one at the reunion because they tried to jump her in the house. We got to get in the paint. It's only right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. It's only right. Okay. Yeah, it's only right. This is really, this yeah, it's only right. Tea, we gotta ask questions. It's only right. Like, I don't have, like, I ain't she in my heart. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Not like that ain't that real, but just off the strength, like, you know, for the principal, yeah, you, you got you to stand in the paint. Okay. You got to stand in the paint. That's just, that's just that. All right. Anna and um, Biggie. Okay. Yeah. So, Anna, Biggie, and then to be continued, or et cetera, or, yeah, to be announced, or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's how that's gonna go. That's fair. Yeah, that's how that's gonna Ooh, go. Other than you that, you're gonna tear Biggie up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, got, they got you, Diamond. On the camera laughing. It's over. It's over. It's over. This is a sticker. I'm posting it too. Wait, no, Chris. wait, hold up. No, no, I'm posting wait. it. No, I love it. No. <laughs> it's over. I love Biggie. I love Biggie. It's just the way you said it. It was so funny. It was a, it was a... Oh, <laughs>
I'm sorry. Excuse me. Biggie and Anna tried to do what? Oh, yeah. Y'all gonna have to come up off that. Y'all gonna have to run that at the reunion. So, yeah. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. Like, I understand. Like, this is a duo now. You know what I'm saying? Because last season, you knew they had to grow to get to this point, girl. You know, y'all playing Ring Around the Rosie, bragging about beating on people, mamas and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Girl. I, listen, I'm not mad at the duo. I like the duo. But do, do y'all got to jump? Y'all got to jump? I mean, I know that Biggie can't fight, okay? And I know that Anna Mac is but so small, so it's like it's not always going to be a fair fight. I understand that, but it's like y'all had to try to jump Nunu of all people? Come on. If y'all was going to jump anybody, it could have been a rolly bit back ass, okay? But if this is true, I feel like this is, I feel like it is just so weak. Like, and, and like I said, I know that there are certain circumstances like Biggie can't, you know what I'm saying? Biggie can't hold her head up in a fight to save her life, girl. Biggie cannot fight. We all know she can't get down, girl. Too big to not know how to fight, girl. We all know that. Anna Mac is but so big. So, so just imagine a duo of two people who got disadvantages in, in, in the altercation. So I understand that. But why is y'all going around jumping people or trying to? It's weird. So, yeah, at the reunion, make sure both of y'all stand on that. No shade, because like I said, I like y'all as a duo. I think they're funny. But, you, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong. At that reunion, be ready and make sure you stand on that and stand in the paint. And honestly, when y'all do get in the paint and y'all got to, you know, come across her one on one, none of y'all better not try to jump in. Mm hmm don't try to jump in and not only that i don't want to i don't want to uh all that running on a mac because girl we know you a track star girl i don't want i don't want to see none of that i don't want to see no sneaking and you running and dodging phase after that and i don't want to see a, no 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 you no you throwing a, and, and and trying to run after that i don't want to see that i want you to get in the paint okay you were tough enough to try to jump somebody you need to be tough enough to get in the paint square up and and, and get down you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Who? Weak sauce. Uh, like, uh, like I said, I understand they're a duo. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to act up with your friends, but it's like, do it really take all that? Y'all can't do a one-on-one? It seems like Biggie and Anna Mac are not getting along with the replacements because, girl, earlier in the season, something came out in the blogs where basically Biggie got into it with Big Kiva and Anna Max snuck Big Kiva for Biggie. So it just seems like they are not getting along with the replacements at all. And they're doing this little teaming up thing. It's just, it's just a mess, girl. But yeah, still like Biggie, still like Anna. But I feel like it's very much weak to try to jump somebody. Like it just, just get in the paint and and run and run a fair one. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Nunu has every right, but to try to get her late back, or she has every right to call out a fade with the both of them at the reunion, and they should get in the paint and stand on that. Like I said, y'all want to be tough. Y'all want to try to jump people, right? Yeah, get in the paint and 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 and, and do it alone. And and me personally, I feel like she gonna. I feel like she gonna whoop both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she gonna get the both y'all. Biggie, I know she gonna turn you every way but loose. We already know you, girl. You, 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 uh, two seconds into a fight and your head is down. Weave, weave everywhere, head down. We, we, you, you, you're not, uh, you just can't get down. You know what I'm saying? On the back, like I said, girl, you butt so big. And, and, and you, who? Girl, boo. And me personally, on the back, girl. I feel like you did better. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I feel like you did better in your little squabble with Roly than you did in your squabble with uh, Mariah Lynn. Because certain rounds with Mariah Lynn, specifically the uh, second and third round, she was cracking you, sister. Okay. She was cracking you. So I don't know what I, I feel like. I feel like Nunu going to be doing the same thing to you, girl. But yeah, like I said, I feel like Nunu has every right to feel the way she feels. If that happens, like, girl, get your one. And yeah, I feel like she has every right but to call out those fades. Yeah, do what you got to do. know in between the season of baddies caribbean and now in the reunion girl tessiki has been falling out and getting into it online with multiple girls not a lot but multiple you know she keeps her cool for the most part but recently she fell out with mariah lynn because mariah lynn basically got exposed for talking about tessiki behind her back which 
pretty much i guess made testiki go on live or I, I don't know i don't know let's just go ahead and get into the video so pretty much i'm not gonna say that the situation made her go on live and say what she said but she definitely got on live and basically told her cast members to be ready for the reunion let's go ahead and get into it i ain't no fubu i'm not playing with these bitches I'm so Y'all, somebody in the comments said, <laughs> they said they not dealing with the Hulk no more. They're dealing with Thanos, y'all. Oh my God. Girl, all I got to say to that is good luck. <laughs> I don't have nothing else to say besides good luck, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you crossed her or you was talking ish on the internet, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you know what I'm saying, girl? She over here talking about something she... She preparing two weeks in advance for the reunion. That's crazy. Thank y'all so much for making it till the end. I really do appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all know this. If y'all made it this far, go ahead and comment. Stop what you're doing and comment a clocking emoji. Let me know that you that you stayed to the end and heard me clock T till this point. Okay, but that's all I have for y'all today. I know y'all see these two videos right here. Those are my latest two uploads that I uploaded yesterday. Go ahead, check those out if you haven't. And if you have checked it out and you didn't leave a like or a comment, go ahead and go back and leave a like and a comment boost the engagement support your girl i love y'all so much it's messy maya i am out bye